So as promised, here is our 30 watt USB-C charger from Google. Just came out for the Google Pixel 6, which we already have. And today we're going to unbox it and we are going to test it on our Google Pixel 6 in which we just also wrapped it up in what we feel is the best case for the Google Pixel 6. And you can also see that video, which we should be uploading soon if we haven't done so already, but you will see why we believe in this case for only about 20 bucks. Can't beat it, folks. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this baby up and show you if indeed it charges at 30 watts. I'm very intrigued and you probably are as well and that's why you're tuning in. So one thing I wanna mention about chargers, doesn't matter if it's a Google charger, Apple iPhone charger, some chargers have a clear plastic wrapping around it and people like to keep it, oh, just to protect it and keep it nice and shiny and all that but you know what that's also trapping in heat and when these things start to fail in some cases and you can look this up online you would see that they've caught on fire because it needs to dissipate heat and you're not allowing that to happen so if you have one of these with a clear wrap on it remove it asap so you can see there it's a 30 watt charger we are going to take the cable that came with the Google Pixel 6 inside the box. This will be our charging cable. And if you saw the review, not review, but we actually unboxed it and gave you our first impressions on the whole thing with the Pixel. I, I don't like to review things until you've actually used them for a while. But anyway, let's connect it. And here we have our meter it's going to register what nothing because it's not even plugged into anything yet let's put that down there and let's connect it to the phone which right now it's at 64 percent so it should start charging because a lot of its battery life or battery use was used during the actual transferring of data from one phone to the other so you can see as soon as you plug it in it's, it's gonna to be toggling between wattage. Right now it's at 23, which is fast. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, 25. I wonder if I press the phone on the side or yeah, it's <laughs> so you can see it's moving everywhere. And this is where you also have to double check the wattage, the actual wattage. And we got as high as what, 25, if I'm not mistaken. Let's turn off the screen and see what happens. But that's what we're getting right now, 17 watts. And not what I was expecting Perhaps, perhaps you will get the 30 watts when your phone is completely dead or, or very low in power and you connect it for the first time. I don't know if the phone detects how much, or if the charger, if the plug actually detects how much juice it needs to be sending to the phone. But I'm using the actual plug, you saw me just take it out of the box, and the cable that came in the box from Google and right now it's charging at 12 watts. Disappointing. I was expecting to get what they're telling me in the box. I guess it's clever advertising. I guess I would have to read the fine print here and find out all the information as far as, let's see, compatible with USB-C type devices. And it tells you here, oh, nothing nothing about why we're not getting 30. What a bummer, huh? Anyway, if anyone knows why we're not getting 30 watts, please post it in a comment below. 
but as you can see, it's not, I mean, we're actually at one third right now of what we should be getting. One third, one third of the actual promised. I'm wondering what wattage we'll be getting once we receive the wireless charger from Google. And if the wireless charger would go through this case, interesting. I'm intrigued. But we already ordered it, so hopefully we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, if anyone knows why I'm not getting the full 30 watts, post it below. Let us know. Thank you for watching.